evening. Thanks for tuning in to Singapore Business Tonight this Tuesday. TR Networks is acquiring 100% of multi-level marketing company Elixir Health. The SASDAQ-listed beauty and healthcare firm will fund 51% of the acquisition with internal resources. The remaining will be paid for by issuing TR Networks shares. TR Networks Chief Executive Tin Yen Hock is here to tell us more. Yen, so tell us what is the rationale behind acquiring Elixir Health? Okay, Joanne, Elixir Health is in the network marketing business with presence in Singapore, Malaysia, and most importantly, they are also in Hong Kong and Taiwan, where we do not have a presence. Elixir Health is very focused in the wellness and anti-aging product and industry. They have good proprietary product, a strong management team, mm -hmm. and most importantly, a very strong uh, distribution network of over 20,000 independent distributors. Right. Now, we believe that we will be able to tap on to the existing strength of distributor to enter into the Hong Kong and Taiwan market. And vice versa, um, we believe that we'll also be able to help them grow their existing operation here. Well, since you intend to leverage on the multi-level marketing, does that mm -hmm. mean that you're not going to go through uh, retail outlets and uh, your home TV networks as you've been doing so far? Um, no, not really. Uh, in Southeast Asia, we will continue to operate under the same business model. Right. In fact, we have plans to scale up our operation in uh, Southeast Asia. Except for North Asia, we believe with the fragmented distribution network mm -hmm. and the high cost of media, a network marketing way would be able to get in uh, in the most cost-effective uh, cost way. And are you going to introduce that uh, network marketing here in Southeast Asia? Uh, no. Uh, the Elixir Health, they have their own network marketing okay. business. Right. What about any more expansion plans? Are there any other acquisition plans in the pipeline? Well, we're always on the, uh, on the lookout for any strategic tie-up. However, as far as acquisition is concerned, uh, we do not plan to have any other major acquisition for the time being. Okay. We will focus, we'll be very focused on uh, the North Asian market, Hong Kong and Taiwan for the time being. All right, then finally, can you tell us what is your outlook for the beauty and healthcare sector? Well, Joanne, the beauty and healthcare sector has always been very resilient uh, to the downturn. In fact, it's growing very rapidly now, especially in Asia, mm -hmm. with the new wealth that's created in China and the recovery of Hong Kong and Taiwan and Singapore. We are very excited about this industry and people are more willing to spend on beauty and health. Well, everybody wants to be healthy and beautiful. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Yen, for coming in to talk to us Thanks today. for having me here. Ting Yen Hock there of TR Networks. And that's the show for tonight. Tomorrow, OCBC's Great Eastern offer expires. Will it be a non-event or will there be some last-minute action? Find out tomorrow. <laughs>